Hello everyone. Thermal energy may be transferred through three processes: conduction, convection, and radiation. In this video, you will learn more about conduction. At the end of this video, you should be able to describe in molecular terms how thermal energy transfer occurs in solids. When we say in molecular terms, it means you need to apply the kinetic model of matter. In particular, you need to apply your knowledge about the molecular structure of solids. In this case, so what is conduction? Conduction is the transfer of thermal energy through a medium without any flow of the medium. Example of conduction. Place one end of the metal rod in the fire. After some time, the other end of the metal rod, which you are holding on, becomes hot. Why? Thermal energy is conducted along the metal rod from the hotter end to the cooler end. In other words, thermal energy is being transferred from the hotter end to the cooler end through conduction. Know that the rod did not move, or the matter in the rod did not flow, although thermal energy is flowing from the hotter end to the cooler end. This is a key characteristic of conduction. This is also what it means. When we say without any flow of the medium, let us now see how conduction works. For this purpose, let us zoom in to look at a section of a metal spoon and a section of a plastic spoon. For both spoons, you are expected to see particles that vibrate about their fixed position, because. Both spoons are in solid state. Note that the particles should be closely packed, but I drew the particles slightly apart in this slide, so that the diagrams will not become too messy later. Please take note. When one end of the spoon is heated, the particles gain thermal energy and vibrate faster. Since solid particles don't move around, you should not say the solid particles move faster. Please take note. These particles that are vibrating faster then collide with their less energetic neighboring particles. Some of their energy is then transferred to their neighboring particles. The neighboring particles in turn. Vibrate faster. In this way, thermal energy is transferred from the hotter end to the cooler end. But as all of you should know by now, metals are much better thermal conductors than non-metals such as plastic. Why is that so? Metals has free electrons. Which are able to move through the matter. They transfer the energy that they gain from the hotter end to other electrons and particles through collisions. This process is known as free electron diffusion. Here's the summary for the past few slides. In matter, conduction is true. Two processes: the vibration and collision of particles, and the free electron diffusion. On the other hand, in non-metals, conduction is only through the vibration and collision of particles. Only metals are much better thermal conductors than non-metals because they have free electrons to help them out. In the conduction. Before you move on to the next video, please look at the learning objective again and ask yourself 
whether you have achieved it. That's all for conduction. See you in the next video.